TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 60. You get the Nasdaq down 16. S&Ps are right down a dollar. Gold contracts down eleven dollars and ten cents, trading at eleven sixty-three an ounce. We have silver down twelve cents, sixteen dollars and thirty-six cents an ounce. You have the uh, copper market flat at two sixty-two a pound. Light sweet crude's up a buck thirty-four, fifty dollars seventy-nine cents a barrel. Notes: the ten-year note breaking its low, down twenty-one six, one twenty-four eighteen. Thirty-year bond off a full two points, plus six ticks, one fifty fifteen. King dollar, king dollar down 79 ticks, $101 and 460. You have the euro trading at 105 and the yen is at 114.56. We get over and we take a look at the S&P. This is what you have happening inside the SPY. SPY out here yesterday, you go lower. Well, this is what you did. You actually had a higher high. You got to a price point of $221.82 and you actually had volume. We did uh, 113 million shares. So uh, deviants, this is how this is set up. Between the Dow and the S&Ps, folks, you actually got into a high and you had some volume. On the Dow Industrials, what we end up doing, uh, we end up doing uh, 1.6 billion shares. So what that's saying is that more than likely you're going to see the Dow high get tested once again, which is totally bizarre. But as we go through this, you're going to see what's happening. So the high of yesterday inside the Dow Industrials, was 19,225. I expect, guess what, before this thing falls apart, it's gonna get tested. Now, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ and the NDX 100 are the weakest indices. The NASDAQ right now is down 12 bucks. You're at 53.10. The high that uh, the NASDAQ, uh, the composite has generated is 54.03. Somehow, it looks like that wants to bounce also. The NDX 100, which absolutely is the weakest indice, goes like this. So, we, First off, the NDX did not test its high. The high that we're talking about is 49.11. We got to 48.96. We come down yesterday, and you come down yesterday with volume. Well, you're in window dressing right now, so somehow, some way, I suspect this is going to try to get a small bounce. You know, bottom line is that if you do look at the NDX or the Qs, what you did is that you did come off that high, and you come off that high with volume. You know, yesterday we had made the high with uh, 18.5 million. You come off that high yesterday with 30 million. Bottom line, you're coming into, now this is where it's going to get pretty wild. You're coming into November 10th. Now, November 10th was a monster day, as was November 9th. We had 72 million shares there. Uh, so it's going to be hard to break down into the bottom of that, the first leg down. Uh, the top of that leg is $118.38. The bottom is 114. And, you know, we'll see if it can bounce. But it looks to me that, yeah, you get window dressing today and tomorrow. You're going to get a bounce. You get the jobs number tomorrow. Uh, I do expect you're going to get a bounce before we start moving much lower. Bonds, the notes. So notes are getting toasted out here again this morning. You have the 10-year. It broke its low that was established last week. That low is 124.25. Right now, you're at 124.20. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see whether it can hold. Um, you know, thus far, there's not any intraday, there's not any big volume down there. So that's saying that the notes, once again, we're going to try to bounce. What we have had the last two trading days is this, is that the 10-year note rejected lower price yesterday and the prior day. The 30-year broke its low, but then rejected lower price also. So bottom line is that you can keep your eye on that because once again, you very well may see the bonds reject lower price once again. Now, dollar index, okay, bottom line, doll dollars having a hard time holding price. Um, you know, we got the, the dollar index right now, it's at 101.445, and the bottom line, each and every time it's getting up to this uh, 101.810, it's having a problem. That brings us over to gold. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here is trading at a price point of... Uh, 11.65, yeah, bottom line, you get light volume. Gold's got to get back inside 11.72, and that's got to get done pronto. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. 
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender.